Hello guys, we are back with our next set of video series. In this series, we are going to start the subject distributed system guys. So this is one of the most interesting subject. The thing is that if you understand the concepts, you can write guys. Like if you understand the main idea behind why it is done or what it is done, you can write the answer. But if you are not clear with the concept, it will be a huge issue guys. Okay. So while writing the notes also, I faced multiple issues. So few concepts I can teach really well guys, but few concepts I'll be just going through the notes guys, because I'm also not that much clear with most of the concepts of this subject. Okay. Okay. So in this lecture, let us go through the introduction. That is nothing but we'll be seeing what is distributed system. First of all, like what is the definition and why a system is called as distributed system. And later on, we'll be going through the characteristics of distributed system guys. Okay. Okay. So let us start. Okay, so let me first give you an example so that you'll be having a clear idea. Okay, okay. So assume that you are running a huge website, guys. So let, let us take some example. Okay, so let us take an example of Facebook, guys. Okay, okay. So you opened the website Facebook, right? Yes. So you requested to the server, gave a response, everything, the story will be the same, guys. Okay, okay. So basically, whenever you request, does Facebook have only a single server inside that server only all the data is stored is that true or not according to you okay so few might be saying yes it might be but you might be saying no there could be multiple servers right you might be thinking in that way yes so whenever a huge website is established for its requirement of a fastness readability and all those things like scalability and all those requirements instead of storing the data in a single server like all data in a single server they'll be dividing into multiple servers so basically one is for streaming like whenever on Facebook also you can do live streams and all those things right so one server might be simply for streaming only one server will be for this posts shares and all those things one server could be just for login and logouts like uh, storing the data and everything and one could be the database so in this way multiple servers are used but when you are visiting the website it looks like a single server like only one system is responding for you right that will be that much fast and the interaction between them will be in that way so that concept like a group of systems or a set of computers will work as a single computer to you like the user will assume in that way so that is nothing but distributed system guys i hope everyone got a clear idea like what is distributed system okay okay so a collection of independent computers that appear to its user as a single coherent device okay or a coherent system we can say okay so that is nothing but distributed system guys so whenever you type in the internet you'll be getting this diagram as an example for distributed system guys okay okay so here we are having multiple applications and here we are having a distributed middleware so the distributed system os or the middleware will be the same for all and the os the local os will be different okay okay and this is nothing but the network okay guys so i hope everyone got a clear idea on distributed system okay so now let us go through the characteristics so the characteristics or goals so few might be saying that these are the goals of operating system okay both will be the correct meaning okay so the first is nothing but resource sharing okay so basically assume that okay so i hope everyone knows about aws right amazon web services so basically amazon web services you can say that you will be according to my knowledge case i'm i did not work in any project or any thing on aws but this is my observation based on multiple videos wherever i saw and wherever i read okay so basically aws is a service like it is a computer guys in simple words in lame words you can say it is a computer which you can use from your computer okay so it might be it sounds a bit funny but that's the truth guys okay okay so basically you will be using that computer so that computer is very fast it is having high storage its bandwidth is high its network speed is high so everything in that particular system is really high so that you can use that system from your system so basically on the charges of usage so basically if you used that this much you used that this much so based on those parameters they will be charging you so that is the main idea of aws guys okay okay so what is the thing that we are doing so assume that you took a server like it is a high speed right but you will not be using the whole thing so you'll be among this also you can share with multiple users so user a took the first part user b took the second part like that multiple users will be using it so that is nothing but resource sharing guys so here the resources are shared between the users it might be hardware software or data so anywhere in the system any from any place in between a particular network can be done okay yes similarly openness okay 
so openness is a concerned with extension to existing system and improving of a distributed system okay so assume that you are the owner of your server and you want to add some more space to it or you want to increase the ram or you want to increase you want to change the processor so openness is nothing but keeping rest of the components the same you can upgrade a component or you can degrade a component based on your requirement okay okay so you might be having out why i'm saying degraded so in some situations you want to reduce the power of your system right so in that situation also it should be ready okay similarly concurrency okay so basically whenever load can be shared among all the computers in the network so basically if there are many networks so this concept you will be seeing seen in caching and all those things guys so basically whenever there is any content uh, cdn that is nothing but content delivery management system so in that systems you will be having this so basically from a single server okay so whenever there are multiple clients and there are multiple servers based on the requirements based on the load various servers it will be connected guys it will be connected to different different servers okay let us take an example so assume that google is having two servers one in us and one in india okay and there are multiple users who are accessing from india and some are from singapore and some are from us so based on the usage like based on the things they will be deciding where to place this servers and based on that the load will also be shared so basically assume that on this server there is a high load then whenever a new user comes instead of sending him to india server he will be they will be sending to us server so this is nothing but concurrency so they will be sharing those loads and all those things guys okay similarly scalability so scalability is also the same concept of openness but it is with respect to networks guys so basically if you want to add one more system to your network your your distributed system should be scalable so you can add one more system into your server into your Uh, networks like that okay similarly fault tolerance so fault tolerance is nothing but so whenever a failure has been occurred so keeping the failure aside the system should not stop running so it should run even if there is an issue so if a single or multiple systems fail in the hardware or software the network will not have any problem and can run without no problem so basically if there is any issue in one particular hardware or one particular component so that component should not work and the rest of the system should work properly so that is nothing but fault fault tolerance okay similarly transparency so the word transparency might be confusing that you want to be transparent like you want to be 100% clear with everything but here the story is a bit different guys so basically in computer they will be saying transparency is that you are going to hide the complex things so basically uh, on the back end of facebook server so there could be multiple requests for multiple servers right yes so everything we will not be seeing will be just seeing the page has been loaded successfully in really in a few milliseconds right yes so that is nothing but transparency okay so these are all the properties or characteristics or goals of a distributed system guys so i hope everyone got a clear idea on distributed system and the goals of distributed system so in the next lecture we will be discussing about the types of transparency guys okay okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching